Yeah, welcome to Wild Watch. From the Wild, we're at Manawa 2 for the second of two days. Thursday, of course, got an eight-race program tonight. Don't forget, bonus back races, races one and two, up to $50. If your horse runs second and third, you get that form of a bonus bet back into your account. Don't mind one in the first here, Slonche. Now, it went good the first day. It's probably thrown its last two starts away win-wise with a late gallop. Let's pick them up around the bottom bend here at Manawa 2 on the first day. The horse were highlighting in the trail, just been held up by Eagle Hanover. Now, you just watch it as it pokes up the inside. The two out wide got their momentum up. Manchester in time and winner's time. Gets up the inside. Yellow wheels. Zeb Meredith. There it is. Goes rough. Gets taken hold off. Pulls the plugs. Gets back going again up the inside and it gets beaten a nose right on the line. Now it did very much similar at Howard the start before. Has won two races at Manawa 2 through December this horse and I just thought chasing a penalty free win on a, a night where there's a lot of very shorties. 550's okay. Race one, number four, Slauncher on top to beat Winner's Time and Johnny Who. So it's 4-5 and 2 in race number one. We're going to key drive here for Blair Orange. Race two is Al Pegasus Pearl. Thought it went good the first day. Big improver. This mare, she is a three-win mare. Let's pick them up. She's in the trail here uh, in the red colours with Don Morrison driving. Gets very close to uh, Mr Monty at the line. Just comes one off at the top of the lane. I thought it was a very good effort now. Been racing through Rangior and Blenheim, as I said. She's won two at uh, Manawa 2 of her three wins. And I just thought she found the right race. With only the maiden off the front, she's off 30, so basically off the front. I think she'll step, she'll be on the speed, and she'll be very short. I think she's probably the best of the day. Race two, number four, Al Pegasus Pearl. Main dangers, Trifolium. Crystal Hackett went good in that video, and probably best of the rest, Tequila Sunrise, who's a newcomer to the meeting. Later in the programme, there's a very short price favourite going around on the maiden called Simba. But if you're looking to play something as a little bit of cover in the late quaddy, I don't mind a horse called Cracker Rock. I want to take you to the workouts at Cambridge last week. With all some highlightings about to come widest on the track, Anna Donnelly had three in here. The actual trial was taken out by the Northern Trotting Derby winner and Love Me Two in front. The horse coming down the outside in the yellow cap of David Butcher. Plug's just been pulled now. That is Cracker Rock. Thought it hit the line quite nicely. Now put a clock on it yesterday morning just to see what it run. So it's run 29.4 down the back. It's run home in 27.8 and it's run its last half in 57.2. Now to get Give that a comparison to what Simba went the first day at Manawa 2. They run home in a minute. So you'd say that Cracker Rock's going to be competitive here. May not beat the favourite, but if you're looking for some cover and a bit of each way, race seven, number six, Cracker Rock. David Butcher, Arna Donnelly, a newcomer to the meeting. Six to beat seven, looks the best Quinella of the day in race number seven. Let's have a look at the three highlighted for you on Wild Watch Thursday night. We're going to start with a penalty-free win for Slante. 550, Zeb Meredith, don't mind it, in a race it can win. Multi-maker race two, Blair Orange, Al Pegasus Pearl. Do think this mare's got a win within her grasp and it might come tonight. And the each-way bet, race seven, number six, Cracker Rock.